Hi, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. One of the most common questions I've been getting of late is, what's the best oil for our hair? There are so many oils ranging from coconut oil to mustard oil to uh, mixtures of different oils and castor oil. What is the best oil? Well, the answer is everyone's different. Some people have beautiful hair with a combination of olive oil and sesame oil. Some people have beautiful hair with the combination of coconut oil, sesame oil and castor oil. Everyone's different. Remember bio-individuality. So uh, before I speak about what we found to be the most effective oil based on science, because when I say based on science, why? When I look at a good oil for the hair, I'm looking for an oil that can reduce protein damage, okay, and protein loss. We have to understand that we can have several reasons for poor looking hair, dull hair, thinning hair. It can be an autoimmune condition like alopecia. It could be vitamin deficiencies. So if you're deficient in vitamin A in B vitamins, you're deficient in vitamin D. Yes, even vitamin D. You're deficient in iron, you're deficient in zinc, you're deficient in selenium. Your diet isn't good, you're eating less protein. These could be several factors, stress being one of the biggest. You can have the best diet, but you're stressed out and you'll find that your hair is changing color and you're losing hair. So there are several factors, but then when we started looking at oils, there is one particular oil that prevents and reduces the loss of protein in damaged hair as well as undamaged hair. So it's good for people who have weak thinning hair. At the same time, it's good for people who have healthy hair. It can actually prevent further protein loss or damage to the hair follicles. So take a wild guess, which is the oil? I've never really asked this question, but I wanna see what's on people's mind. Which is this one oil which you think is the healthiest for most hair types and most scalp types? Come on, type it in. I wanna see what you're thinking right now. Which is that oil? I'm waiting. No guesses? You, you could stop at the hearts. I want to see what, what is that oil on your mind that you think is the healthiest oil for your hair. Yep, Julie, coconut oil, number one. Castor oil, Maureen, be careful of castor oil. It's great when it's mixed with oils, but if the proportion of castor oil is more than the other oils, it can create something called hair clumping, where your hair actually sticks together and clumps and there's no way out. You've got to cut it off, so be careful of that. Okay, anyway, getting back to the live, yes, it is coconut oil. And like I said, everyone is different. But when we go back into the ancient wisdom of people or whatever it is, coconut oil was used as one of the best oils. Now sometimes in case you have psoriasis of the scalp or you have an allergy to coconut oil, then you wanna make an informed decision. Why is coconut oil so good? It contains something called lauric acid. Also coconut oil is highly antifungal. A lot of people have fungus in their scalp and that affects the hair follicles. It doesn't allow new hair to grow. It causes the hair follicles to die. So sometimes coconut oil is an antifungal. It's also antibacterial, it's anti antiseptic. There are so many benefits, but the magic in coconut oil that has now been documented scientifically is mainly the reduction of loss of protein, which is huge. So coconut oil is great for you. I can't tell you how many people come to us with hair problems. And my first question is, do you oil your hair? and so many people don't oil their hair. And they don't realize that there's so much of power in oiling their hair. They want supplements, they want shampoos. That's fine, we'll give you all of that. But the simple habit of oiling your hair once or twice or even thrice a week is brilliant, brilliant for you. So do not stop that process. And a lot of people say, oh, I oil my hair and I still have a problem. Of course you may still have a problem if you have gut problems. If you're constantly constipated, you're bloated, you have gut dysbiosis, you're eating too much of refined sugar, your protein is inad inadequate, you have vitamin deficiencies, you have mineral deficiencies, you can keep pouring liters of coconut oil on your hair and it will not grow. It's always holistic. There's no magic in coconut oil. Even though I'm saying coconut oil today, you still have to work with everything else. You can be putting coconut oil on your hair, but you're not exercising. How do you create blood circulation? How does blood carry nutrients and oxygen right up here. So you see it's everything, but the oil that has the edge over most oils is coconut oil. And that should be the first thing that you put in your hair hygiene and your hair health routine. There will be companies that will want you to buy a shampoo instead of coconut oil. There will be shampoos that will want you to take their conditioners. I don't have a problem with them, but do not forget coconut oil. Do not forget the power of simple coconut oil by a nice brand of coconut oil, 
preferably cold pressed because in refined coconut oil, you destroy a lot of the healthy benefits that we spoke about and just apply it once a week, twice a week. Now, when do you apply it? Pre-wash, post-wash. So you can apply coconut oil one hour before your shower, two hours before your shower. A lot of people apply it at night. They sleep and they wash it off in the morning. That's up to you, whatever works for you. It makes common sense to me to keep the oil in your scalp for a longer period of time. Now, if you don't have time, make it one hour, make it two hours. Now, a lot of people, if you've not had time for a pre-wash, what you can do is after you have your shower, you can use coconut oil in your hair. So you can even oil your hair after you've had your shower and keep it on through the night next morning or if you've oiled it in the morning, had a shower in the morning, you can wash it off two hours later. It's as simple as that. And just because it doesn't work for some people, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have to work for you. But when you go back into ancient wisdom and you take out what our ancestors used to do with coconut oil and look at all those young girls and boys with their air oil during summer holidays and all of that stuff, look at the beautiful hair they had. Things like alopecia, hair fall, thinning of hair fall of hair was unheard of. But move fast forward into life today where we have stress and sugar and overconsumption and lack of activity and lack of sleep and hair fall problems and hair thinning problems even though we have so many shampoos out there, so many hair creams, hair masks, and I have to keep myself updated with what the hair market has. I don't have a problem with it, but do not forget coconut oil. If it suits you, use it. Two to three times. We've had people reach out to us and they wanna join a program to improve their hair. My first question is, are you oiling your hair? No, oil your hair for a month and then come back to us and see if you still need a program. There is beauty and power in simplicity. Use it. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep. And remember, you care is all about you.